Hi folks, this is Shafiq. Today we are going to perform vector similar to search with Apache Cassandra. But before we begin, please like the video and do not forget to subscribe to the channel to stay up to date with the latest videos. Also, your comments are more than welcome. Thank you for your all support in advance. Firstly, we installed Apache Cassandra in our local environment and now I'm going to start it. As an use case, I'm going to use ZipFace package for Python to represent facial images as vector embeddings and I'm going to store those embeddings in my Cassandra white column store. Firstly, I'm going to import the operating system module of Python. Thereafter, call at walk function to get the file names in the unit test items of the ZipFace library. Walk function is returning directory path, directory names and file names. And here file names is a python list that's why I'm going to build another for loop. And image path is going to be directory path plus file name. As you can see some items are not image in this folder. I'm going to discard them. If file name doesn't include that jpeg extension, thereafter I'm going to discard it. Now I'm going to import the deepface dependency from deepface import deepface and in this for loop we are going to call deepface.represent function and image path is going to be image path here. Additionally, we are going to set module name as facenet face recognition module and detector backend as mtcnn. Represent function is going to return a list that's why I'm going to access its first item thereafter get its embedding key. This refers to the vector embedding of the current image. Now we are going to store image path and embedding pair in representations list. Its initial value is going to be empty array. Thereafter here we are going to append a tuple for image path and embedding. Representation list consists of 62 vector embeddings. Now we are going to store those embeddings into our Cassandra white column store. We are going to use the Cassandra dash driver package. You are able to install it with pip install Cassandra dash driver command. And when you install that package, you are able to import package as from Cassandra dot cluster import cluster let's connect our cluster i'm going to create a cluster variable here and it's going to be cluster and here i'm going to set the host name which is localhost and port is going to be default port 9042 thereafter we are going to connect to this cluster cluster.connect and let's store this in session variable here i'm going to connect to the base database and wait for all pools this argument is going to be true here i'm going to call session.execute command to perform some statements on the cassandra site i'm going to store everything in the deep face database embeddings table and let's drop this table if already available drop table if exists the place dot embeddings Thereafter, I'm going to perform another statement and here I'm going to create the embeddings table from scratch. Create table the face dot embeddings. Here I'm going to specify the column names and data types. Image ID is going to be integer and also this is going to be my primary key. Secondly, image name is going to be string. Finally, embedding is going to be list of double now i'm going to store all vector embeddings into deepface.embeddings table let's build a for loop first for image path and embedding in representations also i'm going to need the index that's why i'm going to call representation list as enumerate and it's going to be index and this tuple in this iteration i'm going to create a statement variable and this is going to be insert statement insert into the base stop embeddings and here i'm going to specify the column names first image id image name and finally embedding thereafter values for index thereafter image name is going to be image path and finally embedding is going to be embedding now i'm going to perform the statement session that execute perform the statement 
to represent this facial image as vector embedding and search the nearest neighbors of this one because this is not available in our facial database. Target image path is going to be target.jpg. Thereafter, I'm going to call the face.represent function again. And image path is going to be target image path. And I'm going to use the same configuration for face recognition module and detector backend. And as you can remember, this is going to return a list and I'm going to get its first item and get its embedding case. This is going to be my target embedding. Now I'm going to set this target vector embedding to Cassandra site and I'm going to expect Cassandra to find the distance values between target embedding and each vector embedding in the Cassandra. That's why I'm going to create a function. Firstly, let's drop it if it's already created. Drop function f exists. Its name is going to be Euclidean under the face database. Thereafter, I'm going to create this function from scratch. Create function, name of the function is going to be Euclidean. Thereafter, this function is going to get two vector embeddings, source and target. Source is going to be list of double. And similarly, target is going to be list of double. Thereafter, I'm going to write call on null. Input returns double language Java S. And here I'm going to write single code. Here I'm going to write a Java code, double distance, its initial value is going to be zero. Here I'm going to build a for loop for integer i is equal to zero to i less than source dot size and increase the value of i in curly bracket. By the way, we don't have to use f here because otherwise curly brackets means variables. We are not going to use any variable here. In this for loop, I'm going to get the source embedding and target embedding's current dimension value. Let's say p is equal to source dot get i index value of the source embedding. And similarly, I'm going to define a q variable and it's going to get the same dimension value from target embedding. Thereafter, here distance is going to be, I initialize distance here, I'm going to append the subtraction of p and q. Distance plus p minus q. Actually, I need the squared value of this. After this for loop, I also need to find the squared root value because Euclidean distance expects you to find the squared root value. This is going to be Java language, math modules, square root function. Finally, I'm going to return the distance. When I try to create a function on the Cassandra side, I get this error and the exception message is clear. I need to visit the configuration folder of Cassandra. Thereafter, set the enable user defined functions to true. Thereafter, I need to restart the Cassandra again. When I rerun this block, it's completed successfully. Now I'm going to run a single statement on the Cassandra side. Let's set the statement here. I'm going to get set the image name and also I'm going to call this function Euclidean, deepface.euclidean. And I'm going to get the embedding value of deepface database embeddings table. And as a second argument here, I'm going to pass the target embedding. And I'm going to give distance alias here. Here I'm going to run this statement station dot execute and run the statement and this is going to return many rows here i'm going to print them all cassandra returns all vectors with the distance values unfortunately we cannot perform nested queries also i cannot filter the values for example distance is less than or equal to 10 because this is the pretune threshold for facenet and if the distance is less than the value of 10 then this means they are same person i have to do those filter and sorting things in the client side here i'm going to access the image name with row dot image name similarly current distance value is going to be row dot distance i'm going to store them in instances list and here i'm going to append image name and distance as tuple i'm going to import pandas dependency here thereafter here create a data frame pandas dot data frame here pass instances and specify columns as image path 
uh, distance. Let's see the data frame. Here I'm going to sort this data frame first. Data frame dot sort values by distance column. And I have the data frame. As you can see, these are the vectors being close to target one. And this is the facial recognition case. And as I mentioned, I can filter them with if its distance value is less than the 10. This is the pre tuned threshold value for FaceNet. So if you are going to apply K nearest neighbor or shortly KNN, you are going to specify the K value. Suppose that K is going to be three. I'm able to filter this data frame with variable K value. This is going to return the nearest three neighbors of the target vector. So in this video, we mentioned how to perform vector similar to search with Cassandra white column store. Also, we applied K nearest neighbor algorithm in this experiment. Unfortunately, we cannot perform nested queries or filtering for this function in the Cassandra side. That's why we need to perform sorting in the client side still. Thank you all for watching and see you next time.